I felt as and welcome. So I'm going to go straight into it. Today we are looking at how much wool is, say, 2 grams, 5 grams, uh, 20 grams, 50 grams. Because this is the kind of thing when you first start, you think oh, I'd like to make a little sheep. But, and I want it to be about that big how much wool am I going to need? And it's really hard to visualise. Now, um, I have these set of scales. They are off Amazon. They are literally probably about six or seven pounds. They come with this little lid thing. So you can um, place it on there and put the wool in there, but we don't need that today. So you just turn them on and they're so sensitive. They're really good fun, actually. Look, even if I blow on them, they're registering a weight there, the, the weight was changing. So let's go straight into it. So this is carded wool we're looking at first. Um, that is one grams of carded wool. So it's, if I squish it in a bit, you can see it's quite small, quite tiny. You're not gonna make much out of that. That is two grams. Again, teeny weeny. It's great, but it would do for if you were buying some black or some pink just to do detailing. That is five grams or just over, um, still a tiny amount. It's still not much at all. Then we move on to this one, which is, and I don't think you're gonna be able to see the scales. I don't think you can. This is 20 grams of wool. So let's have a look at that. So if I bundle it up a bit, because normally they'll arrive in a bag sort of a bit more squashed up. So that's 20 grams. Let's see. If I can just squish it all together and get it on the scales, then no, you still can't see it. So yeah, that's 20 grams. So that's not bad. And I'm, I have a look, I see this little dog here? He's 22 grams. So uh, at least that much wool went into him. But then you've got to account for the eyes as well. And then we're gonna go even bigger. You Again, you're not gonna see this. This is 50 grams or just over. So this is much more like it. Um, let's just show you. So he's 55 grams in total. And and that would be, in, in my view, about right. I'd say quite a lot of that would be the body, head and legs. So that is a good amount, 50 grams, to be making something like him. Let's just have a look at some items. So that's five grams. Um, yeah, that was five grams. That's about right. And just to give you a couple of visuals on that, so that's four grams or 4.8. That's 2.8 grams. So these are teeny little things. If you wanted to make a little heart, that's uh, one and a half grams. You can see how much and what you're looking at. And then just to show you a couple of others, these are some of my new PDFs. So he's 73. So he's a little bit bigger. And obviously that's wool on the outside, but all the base on the inside is felted. And another one, 72, similar. And then this one, he's a new one I've done. He's quite a bit more. He's 89, but he's got wire armature inside. So I think a lot of his weight um, is the wire armature. So I'm just going to show you. It also depends on the type of wool. So this, that's the 50 grams of that. It's a white carded Perindale bat. I will just show you whilst we're here. I buy my um, wool from World of Wool in bats. This is a, t sorry, things are falling. This is a 200 gram bat. Um, so it's quite large and it's all squished up in there. But I love it because it lasts a long, long time. So this one is a very fine carded merino and that is 50 grams. So that is a little bit smaller than the carded, not much smaller but it's going to depend on the wool that you're purchasing as well. But that's a nice amount, 50 grams. You can do quite a lot. And then one more that we'll look at there, yeah, just to show you, this is 100 grams. And here we are, I'm just going to be checking the world of wool weights. This is 100 grams of um, a carded grey Corridale slither. And um, the 50 grams was this size but this is all squashed up in there but it is it's 109 and I weighed it the bags are about three and a half grams so all the world of wools that we'll look at in a minute they are slightly over because of the bags so let's just go on to some um, merino or some tops basically so tops are going to be they're going to look a lot smaller because it's um, 
more compact together. So that's 100 grams, just checking 105, so that's perfect. But then looking here, this is another tops, so this is links, 100 grams or 105, so again, that's right. But do you see how it looks smaller? Because it's even more compact. So the amount of wool is going to depend on, the weight of the wool is going to depend on what you are purchasing. And here's just another one, 100 grams. Yep, so that's similar to that one. I'll just weigh you out a couple of the uh, blended mixes or the merinos or tops and then you can see so this is a very small amount let's see how much that is five grams so that is more than I thought it would be I guess that's the five yeah so that's five grams there five five so um but you I mean it depends what you're going to use it for you could make that into, you could card it a bit yourself and make that into um, a small ball, I suppose. Um, so that's five. Let's just see what 20 looks like. That's 10. Yeah, definitely all doubles up. There's a bit more. It's just hanging off the edge there. I can't quite get it all in, but that's 19, nearly 20 grams of merino so for me for the animals i do the size i do i would need a lot lot more but that's 20 grams of a, of a merino style wool and then just to show you some locks because it's quite interesting these locks um i buy and they come um vacuum sealed so it's a really good way to send them in the post and you open it up and they all puff out i will open this up and puff it out for you but that is 50 grams and it is, it's 54 grams. I will open that one out. But then just to show you as well, this is 120 grams of a uh, blue face Leicester. So that's quite a lot of locks. Normally, you know, if you were doing a small sheep, 50 would be fine. Let me open this one up for you. It's quite a satisfying thing opening these up because they sort of puff out. Oops, stuck in there. So if I pull it apart, you can see there's actually quite a lot of locks. So 50 grams is pretty good, um, depending on the size of sheep that you're doing. And it's still puffing out there. But yes, really, yeah, that's good. That's quite a lot. But I would personally, to be safe, I would have ordered two of these just to make sure you've got enough. Because in case some of the locks are slightly the wrong colour. So that's Blue Face Leicester. And then here we are with a couple of other breeds to show you this is a ryland which is quite it's got lovely colors let me just put that amount there so you can see i'm gonna have to just tell you that's 100 grams so that is more than enough if you wanted to use it for um a hair or a bear color it's a lovely color i've got to wash this one next up this is a lester long wool um, and again this one needs to be washed let's try and Get it on so that's about 50 grams so that's a again a fair portion i would probably go for at least 100 in case you weren't happy with all the locks because they're very different colors that's a lovely little curl and then this one we're looking at it's a gray face dartmoor it's a very um coarse curl so i'm imagining it'd be fairly heavy yeah that's 103 grams so you can see you get a little bit less. The Ryland is obviously a bit lighter. There you can see a little bit less. So it also the weight is also going to depend on the breed of the locks that you're getting. And here we go just to show you one last one. This is the 20 grams of the carded. So it's quite a big clump. That is 20 grams of alpaca. So, uh, yes, I feel I could squidge this up quite a lot to sort of look like that size, but that is surprisingly heavier than I thought it would be. So just to cover looking at the item you might want to make, so you might want to make a little heart or lots of little hearts. So you know that this one heart is just under two grams or 1.5, little pumpkin, 2.8, the mushroom. So if you're looking at making things that size, that's about five grams. So you're going to need to get all the different colours you want in the amount of grams that you need. That one there, 
five grams again the dog 22 so I would definitely be going for something like 50 grams to make sure I've got enough oh yeah and then this one I wanted to show you as well so Mr Christmas pudding 55 and then this one went up 72 but this tiny little one I did this little hand 0.3 absolutely tiny so I hope that's helped everybody and thank you for watching